In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a TIE ground targeting, also known as a TIE GT from Star Wars. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you're interested in more Star Wars tutorials, I'll leave a link in the card above, as well as in the description to a full playlist you guys can check out after this video. Anyway, let's get into building. Alright then guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. So here is the one that we've got here. It is seven blocks long, nine blocks wide, and seven high. Materials that you guys are gonna need, polished andesite slab, stairs, and block, polished deep slate slab, and block, andesite wall, gray stained glass, warp trap door, iron trap door. And as always guys, we're gonna need a load of other materials, but that gets us started, it gets us through most of the build. I'm gonna be building it in the box, up to you guys if you wanna do the same or not, but uh, if you do, Again, seven blocks long, nine blocks wide. From this box, we're gonna find the middle on the shortest edge of it, and we're gonna have one block in, gonna have three blocks of our andesite. We're then gonna have a layer of deep slate on top of that, a layer of deep slate on top of that as well. One block of andesite right in the middle with a deep slate block either side. On top of this, we're gonna have a layer of deep slate, another layer of deep slate, and then finally, we're gonna to top that off with a layer of polished andesite. So you just get this kind of simple pattern going on. On the front, we are gonna have the middle three blocks with andesite, same with the back. And then we're gonna have an andesite wall just on these bits here. Then we're gonna have a five block gap. So one, two, three, four, five. And then have another three blocks here. Now get rid of these guide ones. I'm going to do the same thing. So a layer of deep slate, layer of deep slate, one andesite in the middle, deep slate either side of that, then deep slate on top, deep slate on top again, and then finally a layer of your polished andesite, and that's what you'll end up getting. So one, two, one, two, one. That's what's going on. Three blocks of andesite on each side now. Cool. And then uh, andesite wall goes onto these pieces here like that that will give us the basic wings anyway we're gonna you know flash them out make them look better and all that kind of stuff in a sec but uh, that'll do for now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one block either side of this so just joining off of those two bits and then we're gonna have three blocks of glass coming forwards from that put one on the top of that one and underneath it make a nice little cross that's gonna be a nice window there have an andesite stair underneath and on top as well either side of that then with our warped trapdoor, we're going to put that everywhere except for the middle glass block. So that is what you end up getting. Same as my other ties that I've done as well. So underneath, we're going to have a slab. So we just go out from that one. And then we're going to have an iron trapdoor just on the front, not on the sides this time. Because what we're going to do with our stairs is from this side here, we're going to go one, two, three, and then the last one, we're going to wrap around at the back there to four. So two, three, and four, because this one has got an elongated body, which I think is kind of interesting, a bit different. Two blocks are gonna go in here, like that, <laughs> there we go. Then we get the same on the top, so we get a stair wrapped around this way. Then we get another two stairs there, so it all kind of curls around to there. And then finally, one at the end, like that. Right on the back now, we're gonna have a block there, and a block there. Underneath, we're gonna have an extra slab here like that. Then, an iron trapdoor. On the top, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have an iron trapdoor on top of the glass block, one polished deep slate slab, and then one block, one uh, slab of your polished andesite. With on the, on the top part of this one, having an iron trapdoor, so right there. Get rid of some of those blocks now, actually. So let's get rid of some of these. And let's grab polished deep slate wall, and a crimson button as well. So crimson buttons are either side, those are your twin ion engines. And then in the middle, we're gonna have the kind of reactor, which we use a deep sleep wall in the back there, like that. Now there is one tweak that we're gonna do to underneath this to put in the big missile section or the gun. I can't remember, I only built this yesterday and I've already forgotten. But putting a stair here, going towards the front here, so that's the front part of it. Got a stair on the back there have a slab underneath that like that and then going forwards we get another slab 
And then let's grab some extra blocks. Dark Oak Fence Gate. We're also going to need a banner. So this is a black banner with a light grey stripe going through it. So you just grab some light grey uh, dye and you've got a black banner as your base and you just put in the dye into the loom and then you can select which pattern it is. It's nice and easy. Um, we're also going to need an iron trap door, stone buttons as well. I get the feeling that's it. Pretty simple really. So what we'll do with these patterns is we're going to have them going from the central part of it, this, this bit here. It's just going diagonal for those. I love this design. I love the that you can do this with banners. Never thought about it before. But there we go, get those like that. And then around these ones, you can put in your buttons. Now on the pylon, which is the connecting part, put a iron trap door underneath and on top of it. Then we're gonna have a stone button, either side of those ones. Same here, stone button there, stone button there. Iron trap door on top, iron trap door underneath. Put in your banners. Like that. And then do the same around here as well. And then put in your buttons around those bits there. Then finally, if we've got access to the debug stick, we're going to put a, a trapdoor or iron trapdoor on these edge pieces of the wings. And also on the side pieces of the glass. And that means we've got to get rid of that button. So if you can't do it, keep that button. There we go. Like that. And then to get the debug stick, slash give your name, and then debug. I always keep on doing that every time. <laughs> debug is what I end up doing, but there we go. Get your debug stick. You want to cycle through to the selected property, which is open, and you want to just knock that down, and that will then remember where you were for that block. You can then knock it down for everything else like that. And what you end up getting is the finished build. So there we go, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one. Uh, the only other tweak you can do before I end this one is this bit here. Yeah, you can move these up as well. So where you've got low, you can move this up to be the whole block. So you can just right click that there. Um, nobody's going to notice this. And the same one with the other bit of the back as well. You can do those ones. The ones underneath are already doing the full tool block part of it. So you don't even need to worry about those. But now you're totally done, guys. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, before we forget, I'll put the guns on. So I just, I just looked over there. Going to have the um, uh, dark oak fence gate and just punch that in from there. Now you're done. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.